Hi friends, I'm Mrs. Kipdome. I am the PLTW teacher at Lakewood and at Dickon. Hi Lakewood lizards, hi Dickon dolphins. Um, we are going to do an experiment today to see how fast heat can travel through different objects. And so I have a whole bunch of things I want to show you today. Um, first, I wanna show you my really awesome thermometer that I'm gonna be using here. And um, this thermometer, has a timer at the top. So you'll see the time go and we're gonna test how fast this heat goes through it in uh, up to 90 degrees, okay? So each one will start out at about 72, 73 degrees. That's about what the temperature is on my countertop here in my kitchen. This is the probe that um, checks the temperature. So if I put that in my hand here, you will notice that it does start to go up because my body is warmer than the air. So, awesome. So I'll get that set up here. And then I have some different materials we are going to test. The thing that's gonna be producing our heat is these. This is called a, um, a uh, heat pad, okay? And sometimes people put it in their pockets while they are skiing and or playing outside and keep them warm, keep their hand warm, hand warmers. Um, so we're gonna be putting this on to our, uh, our thermometer first for a control because just to see how fast it go can raise the temperature to 90 without anything else on it. Um, good scientists use a control to compare to to see how well their materials do. So some materials that we're gonna use, I thought a lot about what you might have at your house and in your space so that you might build with these things later. So what we're going to test today is, first I thought about how you probably have some um, construction paper that you got in your art distribution. So we have some construction paper. I cut a small piece and folded it in half just to see what happens there. And then I um, also got, uh, I thought maybe you might have some Aunt Annie's at home or maybe some cereal and that's made out of cardboard. So I cut a piece out of there and we're gonna use that piece as well. Then you might have cardboard from a box. And if you notice, this one's a little bit thicker and we'll see what that does. Then I also have here some um, aluminum foil, very shiny. And we have it folded, I have it folded over a little couple times so it's a little stiffer in case you wanted to build with that. Um, then we have, I have some foam here. And this might be from a takeout uh, container where you and your family got takeout from uh, one of our local fine restaurants. Um, I also have a, this is actually a paper towel tube that I cut and I cut it this way too so I could put my hand warmer in there and test it there. Um, then I got creative thinking that we had, uh, you know, a couple different cardboard pieces. So why not crumple up some tin foil and see what happens and also crumple up some paper, see what happens. And last but not least here, I have one of my son's gloves. So I know we usually wear these when we go outside and to keep our hands warm. So maybe um, it might, hopefully keep heat in instead of letting heat travel through. So we're gonna test one of those as well. So here's my setup down here. So I've got my iPad set up and my um, thermometer. I'm also gonna get myself a glass of water to cool my thermometer down in between each trial. So we start at the same temperature. I almost forgot one last thing. I also thought maybe you might like to build with a Tupperware container in your space. So I'm gonna use the lid of this to test to see um, how heat travels through that. So come on, let's see what happens. 